what's going on guys welcome back to the homestead welcome back oh sorry about the lighting the sun's setting on me it's in the evening here we got goats coming in the morning so what i need to do is uh finish up their enclosure today i'm going to go ahead and add a, a little shelter for them so they can get out the rain and also be able to put their feet up underneath so it doesn't get wet and later on i'll be able to add some cattle panels to it and uh section it off just in case one of them is giving birth or something that needs to be separated but uh with the wood prices the way they are today and i do mean they're crazy they are crazy um the other day i bought four eight foot four by fours and spent eighty dollars eighty dollars well today we're going to try to build this enclosure with just using one of them with the way wood prices are right now or really any kind of things to do with building it's out of control so homesteading's about working with what you got and i got quite a bit of 14 foot two by fours around here and uh i'm going to use the existing post of the fence like i was saying in my earlier video that knocks out three of the poles that i need i also got uh, that metal i picked up the other day and uh, i got some sheets over there that's 16 foot 16 four i believe so what i'm going to do is a 16 by 16 a little lean-to here off the corner of a post of the fence and that's a pretty decent little area I only got a uh, three goats coming I got a buck and uh, two does one of them's pregnant uh, the bucks gonna be a boar and the uh, two uh, does are uh, Kiko's so pretty excited about it one of them's pregnant matter of fact so I might be needing to make that uh, birthing pen sooner than later but we're going to try to knock this out and be ready for them in the morning and get their food and water and everything set up. That way when they get here, they, they won't be stressed and can get comfortable quick. And uh, Looking forward to it though. Good morning homesteaders. Well, it's the next morning. I ran out of daylight yesterday. I only had two hours to get that structure up before it got dark and I had to do it because the goats were coming in the morning. Well, they're here. They're here. Stick around to the end of the video and uh, I'll introduce you to the new additions to the homestead. I'm pretty excited about them being here and they're already doing what I got them here to do. They're just eating away and starting to clear all this undergrowth. But I'm going to walk you around the structure I built and explain to you why I did it like I did it. It's not typically the way I build things, but it is just a goat structure. It has no weight on it. It's slow enough that I can get up there on a ladder with the blower and blow it off once a year. So it shouldn't hold no weight. But I wanted to get an enclosure done before they got here because it's calling for rain all day today. And well, we know that goats don't like rain. So let me flip the camera around and I'll kind of show you what I did. And
well to start with i didn't end up using the four by four i talked about i ended up just using another fence post fence post only cost me about nine dollars the four by fours are twenty dollars a piece right now with the wood prices so i decided to go ahead and use the fence post and save the four by fours for the chicken coop and they're a little bit taller and i needed taller for the chicken coop but here we got about a two and a half foot overhang all the way typically i wouldn't run the two by fours that far out especially without bracing but this is some lightweight deck and it's not really holding much weight so to get the most square footage that i could with the boards that i had i had 14 foot two by fours so i went ahead and ran them across this ended up being 14 by 16 foot four so i ran those across i also left the overhang here at the end about the same distance and then went ahead and let the deck itself hang over about a foot and a half so plenty of room for them plenty of room all i did was nail two two by fours on each side of the post and then ran my two by fours that's going to hold the deck across that it's not that big of a span i think these poles right here are only about eight foot apart and like I said, if I if I needed to get up on this roof and walk around, I definitely would have built it a little bit stronger. But all it is is an enclosure to keep the uh, weather off the goats. So it works fine. And with the way wood prices are right now, I was trying to build it with the least amount of wood as possible. And also with just stuff that I have here already on the homestead. So I didn't have to come out of my pocket any to build this. It was stuff that I already had for other leftover from other projects. Another thing that I did is, uh, right here's my fence line. I went ahead and ran it about another two and a half foot past the fence line, which allowed me to put my barrels and any other things that I need to be able to take care of the goats um, put right beside the fence line, and it won't get uh, weathered. Keeps the rain off of that as well. Ended up working out real well. But I'm excited about how it turned out. It's typically not how I build things. Most most times i uh, over engineer everything but like i said this is just a simple structure just to keep the uh, water off of them go take the water i put a decent little slant on there but nothing too serious to be able to uh, shed the water and shed some of the leaves but i think it's going to work out i'm going to end up adding some more uh, deck on the sides to kind of section it off into stalls a little bit so it's just step one of what i plan on doing with it I might end up eventually coming in here and adding a little bit more braces whenever the wood prices go down. But for right now, this right here will work. Well, while I'm walking around trying to show you all this enclosure, we have some visitors. So let me introduce you to the new members of the homestead. <laughs> let me introduce you to Rose. Say hey, Rose. She is a white boar goat. She is a sweetheart. She was bottle fed. All three of the ones that I got... One of the big things that I was looking for is temperament. I wanted uh, some nice goats, ones that weren't going to be a problem. So when the kids are in here with me uh, messing around with the goats, that they don't uh, end up getting hurt. And I, and I don't want them to end up getting scared of the animals. I want them to, to learn to enjoy them and love them and be able to interact with them. And then the next one I'm going to introduce you to, this right here is old Blackbeard. He's the buck of the group. And uh, he's got a real good temperament as well. He's real young. He was the youngest of the bucks of where I got the goats from. But uh, comes from a real real good bloodline. His father is a, a registered boar. And uh, same thing. He's very calm. Very docile. Real, real, real good, real good buck. You know, his temperament is great, which is... What I was looking for in this herd, I, w I wanted a good temperament herd. So, but that right there is Thelma. She's the mischie mischievous one. Uh, she had a partner, uh, Louise, well, Thelma and Louise, but uh, the lady sold Louise before I got Thelma. So, I think my next doe will end up having to be uh, Louise. That way, we can reunite the Thelma and the Louise together. She's a little mischief, um, very sweet. She, she doesn't get into mischief as far as uh, being aggressive or anything like that. But they say that she likes to try to escape and uh, 
<laughs> always up to something. But she's a sweetheart. But that's the three that I got right now. Uh, Thelma here, she's actually pregnant. Uh, she's due Christmas morning, I believe, is what I was told. I actually got a fourth uh, female coming here in about two or three weeks. She's actually a dapple uh, goat, and she's uh, pregnant. She's got some real beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Couldn't quite get her right now. I've spent uh, a small fortune on this enclosure and everything right now, but the, went in and put a deposit down on it, and the lady uh, was nice enough to hold her for me. So we'll be bringing her to the homestead here probably in about three weeks. About three weeks. I could have went ahead and pulled it off, but there was no point in me kind of putting myself in a bind right now. But uh, we'll definitely be getting there probably, like I said, about three weeks. But as you can see, they're very friendly. <laughs> when I walk into the pen, they stay right there with me. They just follow, follow me around. We've already bonded pretty good. And uh, they're doing the job. They are uh, definitely starting to clear this out already. I need to get started on the other paddock here sir, real soon. But the next project is going to be the chicken coop. I'm actually going to start on that later this evening. Now, that will definitely be a couple of part series. I plan on making a predator proof chicken coop. Uh, because like I said in one of my earlier videos, I live out here backed up to a swamp. So you kind of got to overdo all of your infrastructure a little bit. Or else the predators will get to them. And everybody loves chicken. Come on. So, But we're going to get started on that uh, chicken coop and that chicken run. And get it connected to this goat enclosure here. So we can... Uh, get the chickens when they come to be able to free range here with the goats and take care of these ticks and any other insects that might bother the goats i think it's going to be a real cool setup and i'm excited about it i will definitely take y'all with me on the build of the chicken run and chicken coop and uh, make sure that i explain in detail a little bit better um that'll be something that takes me a couple of days so i won't be on such a time crunch like i was last night i apologize for not being able to actually take y'all through the whole build with me but uh still learning this uh filming while doing projects it definitely slows you down quite a bit people might not realize that to watch the videos but it it definitely adds quite a bit of a uh, time to the builds you don't you don't just work you got to think about camera angles and lighting and everything else and i'm still getting used to it but i'm having a good time doing it so if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed to the channel so far, uh, please go ahead and do that. It sure does help this channel out quite a bit. And I look forward to bringing y'all on the future adventures. And I'm real excited about having the first uh, animals here on the homestead. And I look forward to bringing y'all along as we add more. So until we see each other again, come on, let's go homesteading.